Now we're going to look at an example of completing the square, but this time our equation is going to have fractions involved in it. Okay? So let's say we're given the equation x squared plus 2 thirds x minus 1 third equals 0. <clears throat> now, the first thing I would do is move this negative one-third over to the other side of the equal sign. Okay. A lot of times if our we have the standard equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, a lot of times it's just easier to take this term, subtract it to the other side, and then complete the square. So let's do that. Okay, this adds up to zero. So I am looking at x squared plus two thirds x equals positive one third now. Okay. So again, before I can do completing the square, I have to make sure my a or my coefficient of x squared is just one, and it is here. So we're good to go ahead and. Uh, continue working. Remember, I am looking for b divided by 2 squared. Okay, So here b is 2 thirds. That's not a problem. We're going to take 2 thirds. We're still going to divide it by 2. And then we're going to square it. Okay. Remember, when you're working with fractions inside of fractions, the way we resolve this is we take the reciprocal of the bottom and we multiply it back to the top. So what I'm really looking at in my parentheses here is 2 thirds times 1 half. This is all still squared. Now, looking at this this way, my 2's will cancel each other out here. So I'm really looking at 1 third squared, and that is 1 over 9. Okay, remember this square applies to the 1 and to the 3. So 1 squared is 1, 3 squared gives me 9. So you have to square both the numerator and the denominator. Okay, and once again, this is what we add to both sides. And this number inside the parentheses is our factor. So adding in the 1 ninth to both sides, let me move my paper up just a touch. Now I have the equation x squared plus 2 thirds x plus 1 ninth equals 1 third plus 1 ninth. Okay. Let's go ahead and factor this side. Remember, now it is a perfect square trinomial. That was the entire point of this method. And this is my factor here, 1 third. So I have x plus 1 third times x plus 1 third. And that is equal to 1 third plus 1 ninth is 4 ninths. I have the same set of parentheses right here, so I can rewrite it with a square. Okay, and now I have something squared equal to a number, and that tells me I can use the square root method. So let's put a square root on both sides. I've got the square root of x plus 1 third squared equals, once again, plus or minus, the square root of 4 over 9. Okay. Now we did this so our radical would cancel out our exponent. So on the left hand side I'm left with x plus 1 third equals plus or minus the square root of 4 ninths. Let me work off to the side here. Remember the square root of 4 ninths 
I can break up that square root to the numerator and to the denominator, and then take the square root separately. So the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3. So here I'm looking at plus or minus 2 thirds. Okay, so remember you have two different solutions here. Let's go ahead and break this up into two different equations. So I've got x plus one-third equals negative two-thirds and x plus one-third equals positive two-thirds. Now I'm going to continue solving for x and we do that by subtracting the one-third from all sides minus one-third, minus one-third, minus one-third, minus one-third. Okay. This adds up to zero. So I'm looking at x equals negative two-thirds minus another one-third is negative three over three, which is really equal to negative one. So here, x equals negative 1. And for my other equation, this still adds up to 0. So I've got x equals 2 thirds minus 1 third is 1 third. So here my solutions are x equals negative 1 and x equals 1 third. And we're done.